A Grinch is attempting to steal Christmas in Conway. The lights on one woman's downtown home have been cut not once, but twice in one week. Despite the neighborhood scrooge, the woman intends to keep the spirit bright all season long. Neil Zarang joins us live tonight from Conway. And Neil, this woman has a message for the person trying to dim the lights on this Christmas season. That's right, Laura. It's all lights and cheer now, but there is one person going across this neighborhood that's decorated by a lot of homes, but they're only attacking one. You could say that ending this Christmas display is on their Christmas wish list. Surveying the damage around his mother's home, Justin Hoadley is prepared to deck the halls once more. This is our second time this year so far. It happened twice last year. We're going to keep fighting for Christmas joy because that's what we do around our house. Justin questions why someone would cut his mother's lights where he thinks no man would dare. Marilyn's home is just six blocks away from the police station. We believe in the spirit of people, the spirit of the season, and the joy that lights and decorations can bring to not only our own family, but to people who pass by our home. The family hasn't filed a police report, but they've asked authorities to be watchful on the busy street. In the evening hours, that seems to be when it happens, right around dusk. They don't wish the crook holidays in jail, but they hope the dear Scrooge is caught red nose, I mean red-handed, and gets what he deserves. I just hope they maybe get a lump of coal in their stocking. <laughs> that's what I keep telling everybody. If the person sees this that's doing it, could you just be happy with the season of Christmas and, and let, let the lights be the lights. Definitely not uh, discouraging these friendly elves, you could say. Now, if some people have suggested getting a game camera to be able to catch whoever's doing this, but they don't think it's going to work because it's such a busy street and an expense whenever they could just take $20, go to the store, get some more lights, and Hoagley said that he's prepared to do that as many times as it takes. Born Live in Conway, Niels Rang, back to you.